Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create the framework of your website and put some placeholders in um, for your different pages that we just created. So I'm going to do the first several and then you can do the other ones on your own. After you get the hang of it, it it's pretty much the same. The other thing that you can do is actually get on our um, get in one window, get the example from our home site, from our class website, and then in your own, um, have that in another window. So you can kind of go back and forth because these are just going to mirror what, um, what I'm doing right now is just going to mirror what is on the example. So I'll kind of go back and forth with that too. So in my sandbox, I'm going to be making the placeholders for all of these things. It will be eventually on your website on this page. So to do that, I need to edit my page. So before we did this create page, now we're going to do the little pencil, which is edit page. So just click on that and you'll look like, um, now it looks like a, a word processor basically um, with a couple of extra things on there. So what we're going to do is, you see I have an introductory paragraph. So I'm just going to write intro paragraph and then some placeholders there and just go to the next slot and then click the um, title resource links and you'll notice I'm not doing any of the formatting of the um, of the titles yet I'll show you how to do that in just a second and underneath the resource links you need to have at least three and this can be, and these are bulleted, okay? So we're gonna go up here to the bullets and we're gonna do, I'll do this to know that I have three that I need to do. And then if I do enter and then enter again, it takes the bullets off. Um, the next one I need to do, the last one on the page actually, it, this title can be one that you choose. So it can be something like latest happenings, education favorites, it can be love of learning, it can be something that you're going to tell a little bit more about yourself. If you see on my um, example right here, I have, you know, latest happenings. It could be things that are happening in your life, will happen this summer, you're going on a big trip, whatever. Um, or you can tell how you got interested in education or into your content as um, your favorite or what made you have a love of learning or something like that. That just lets the people who are coming to your website get to know you a little bit better. Okay, so we're, I'm going to do latest happenings. And this is just a, um, a short paragraph. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do these um, titles like that. You'll notice I did not put spaces in between um, my intro paragraph and my resource links and all of that. Now, when I did the bullets, it did put some spaces, but that was already um, factored into the template. So what we're doing won't affect that. So you'll see the first one, home, is already done for you. You don't really change that. Resource links is the one that needs to be changed. So you're going to highlight that. Go up here to format, and then this is going to be a heading two. You see how much bigger that gets? And then latest happenings, again, highlight it, go up here to format, go to heading two. Um, and the reason you're going to do this is because now not on the home page, but on several of the pages, you actually have a table of contents. If you go over here to the about me page, you have a table of contents and the formatting on your titles make up the table of contents. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Um, on this page, you'll have a picture. We won't do that right now. If you want to have another big heading and have a fourth thing, that's fine too, but you really only need the title of the page, intro paragraph, resource links, and then one more heading. Now, after you're done, you need to click save, and that page is done now. So, um, we can go on. So, as you can tell, we're just building the skeleton of each one of these pages. So, I'm going to go to the About Me and go through it one more time, and then you're going to be able to go to the um, other ones and do them on your own. So I'm going to go to my About Me page over here and see which headings I need. Okay, I have a, oh, I have to go back over here and go into edit mode. So I have a little intro paragraph again. The next thing I have is all about me. You guys are going to be creating a short video about yourself. 
and that doesn't happen until like session 10 or something like that on down in the semester. So, but we're going to leave a little space here for it. Okay, so I'm going to put some X's to know to insert my video. And then I have my family. I have what I love. And again, if you want your titles to be a little bit different, that's fine. Just know that um, this happens to be about your activities, your hobbies, what you love to do in your life. Um, the next one is dreams and goals. Again, if you want to change that, that's fine. And then favorite links. So these can be links that are um, personal in nature, spiritual. Um, they can be ones that are your daily devotional, where you like to shop online. This is all about you. This does not have to do with school necessarily. And what I forgot to do is put a little space like this for a paragraph. Okay, so this is going to have a short paragraph. And we'll go more into the details about what each one of this, these are going to entail um, closer to the time. So a short paragraph. And then favorite links. Again, you need to have at least three. And bulleted are always easier. So let's do three bulleted links. Okay. So again, we're going to go back up here. We're going to do our formatting. So highlight all about me, go up here to format heading two, and then highlight my family format heading two. What I love format heading two. dreams and goals. Again, same thing and favorite links format heading two. Okay. So we have all of our all of our um, headings. And now I'm going to show you how to create a table of contents. And again, the reason the formatting is important is because the formatting tells the table of contents which way, what to pull, what words to pull into the content, into the table. So here, um, I want you to put your cursor right before the A and then go up here to insert. And if you'll notice right here, the third one down is table of contents. Okay, and you're just going to leave that all those the same and click save. You'll notice it sticks it over here and most table of contents are over to the right side. So after it enters, after it puts it in there, you're going to click on it and then these things you can align. So we're going to do align right and then we're also going to wrap the text. So the wrapping of the text needs to be on. You'll notice if I go off, it leaves all this extra space. So turn the wrap on and then it does that. So when I click save, you'll be able to see that I have all of my headings. I have all of my little um, things that tell me what to write there. And then I have my, my um, table of contents that pulls from my headings for my table of contents. Okay. So now that you have seen what to do, I want you to go to your technology in my classroom page and look at the headings of my example technology in my classroom page. So on this one, you'll have a very short paragraph here, a title there, a title there, and this is, you'll put your dream classroom presentation. You'll have on the social studies apps for learning, you can just leave off the social studies and put apps for learning because it'll be your specific content. And then you're going to do um, something focused content resources. So if you're language arts or if you're chemistry or whatever, um, and I'll show you how to do that when we get there. And then you're going to have a multimedia thing link project. You just need the title and then put some little X's that show that you're going to put it down there. Um, and then actually I've decided to take off this resources so you won't need to put that. But you will have one, two, three, four, five, five headings on your technology page. And then you'll go to your professional page and you'll do the same. And you'll go over here to your contact me page and you'll see what you need to do there. So just get those set up with the same way with the headings, the table of contents, if it's there and the bulleted points, if it's there. Um, and then you'll be ready um, to put some stuff in your pages after that.